How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to episode 30 of our Stardew Valley Let's Play and guys we're in our second year now and we have a few missions to complete so let's jump straight into the action. Ah yes Aaron, time to get up and it is the second day of the new year and I got a lot of farming done at the end of our last episode, how are the spirits today? No, they're, they're annoyed. Oh, crazy spirits. Oh, goodness. And it's partially cloudy. And thanks to everyone for all your tips and tricks in our last video. And as you can see, guys, I got all the potatoes in and they're fertilized. We've got our new flowers in. So we'll get lots of money from our uh, honey. And let's see what the mail is here. And then Pierre's saying, dear Aaron, I'm now so... Oh, he's selling the high-quality fertilizer. That's cool. And new crops, but I think we picked up the crops already. So you guys were giving me lots of tips and tricks and requests for at the end of our series. And I took a few of them down. I've written them down. I've also made a full list of the remaining items that I need for the community center. And there's actually not many at all. I think I've nearly got everything, which is awesome. Um, so, And I've also written down the four remaining fish I need and where to catch them. So that is really cool. As you can see, our fruit trees will finish growing this season. So I can finally start getting some fruit, which will be amazing. And uh, yes, our barns are being upgraded. We've got the goats and all that good stuff. So we've got a lot to do. Uh, this episode is going to be a bit zoom zoom ahead. Um, and is there any milk in it? No, no milk right now. That's a shame, but we can still say hello. That is fine. So what we'll be doing, guys, we'll zoom ahead quite a bit this episode, and let's jump straight into it. Ah, uh, the time has come to get our truffle hunting pig for the farm, and I think, I think I'm just gonna buy one. If I remember, they were really expensive, so let's purchase an animal. Yes, yeah, 16,000, holy moly. But uh, I only need the one truffle, so let's go down here, and uh, beautiful. Oh, some grass is growing, very nice. And uh, what sort of random names do you get? A pony, Pony the pig. Let's call this one Aiden. Very cool. There we go. So now we've got a piggy, little Aiden, to his new home straight away. Ah, beautiful. I hope he finds some truffles for me. So now I'm actually going to go. I've got some wood and stone. We're going to upgrade our coop to the maximum level now. Ah, uh, I hope Robin's home at the moment so she can get started on our next big project. Yes, she is. So let's construct farm buildings. And now we're going for the deluxe coop. So it's 20... Oh, I've just got enough money. I think I've just got enough of everything. That is cool. And that way I won't have to keep filling up the hay each day and annoying the chickens. So let's get the ultimate upgrade there. And our dinosaur should hatch soon too, which is pretty cool. So she's like, okay, I'll start working on your coop upgrade first thing in the morning. I need to earn some more money. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, we got to level 10 foraging. That is awesome. And we can pick between botanists. So forage items are always highest quality. Or track our location. Oh, location of forageable items are revealed. Well, I normally know where they are anyway. So I think I'm going to go botanist for the extra money, which sounds pretty good to me. And as you can see, I've sold a few odds and ends today, but nothing too out of control. Quick, Pierre, I need more potatoes. <laughs> the potatoes have finished growing on the farm. And I want to make sure I don't lose any of the fertilizer. So I'm going to buy the seeds in advance, but uh, I think it was about 200 roughly uh, that I needed last time. And let's see, there's that, that blah, 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 it's Abigail. Let's give her a uh, amethyst whilst I remember. There we go, nice amethyst for you. There we go, oh, her thing turned into a star. We got 10, we got 10 hearts, oh my gosh, yay. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder what would happen if I spent all night in the graveyard. That sounds really scary. What do you think happens to us after we die? Well, that got heavy all of a sudden. I have no idea. We come back as spooky ghosts. We go to heaven. Our energy bodies enter the astral plane. That's something that Emily would probably like. Nothing, we just cease to exist. Um, okay, so Abigail's a bit quirky, a bit different. She's probably going to like the spooky ghost response, I reckon. Well, that's an interesting theory. <laughs> I thought she'd like that because she's sort of like, she hangs out in the graveyard. She's a bit different. So yeah, but anyway, so if we go back to our farm, you're going to see guys, we have all these potatoes ready. Plus, I've been building more uh, beehives as well because I remembered that the honey earned an absolute fortune uh, when was it last? In fall when we were growing the honey last? It's been a while, but I've been turning some wood into coal uh, so I can make even more. So 
It's pretty out of control, but as you can see, there's potatoes for days, our flowers have grown, so there's all this new honey. It's pretty exciting. So what do we need to do? Let's put that there, and then I need to just get something like a... I always use a refined quartz, I don't know why, just so I can pick up all the potatoes. So what we'll do, guys, I'll harvest these up, and then I want you guys to guess how much money we're going to earn from all these high quality potatoes. Look, we're getting gold ones. Very nice indeed. All right, I'll go to Pierre's after I've harvested. Okay, here's all the potatoes that we got. I got 99 gold ones, 74 silver, and 76 normal. So type and comment, type down a comment now. You've only got a few seconds left. How much money you think we're gonna earn from this? And we'll sell them all to Pierre. I'm thinking hopefully 15, maybe 20,000. We're about to find out. Okay, you ready? We're on 18,000. Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> Okay, we're on 46, so I just earned about 28,000. Oh my gosh, that's insane. So we'll be out, we'll have lots of money uh, to buy strawberries on the 13th, which will be really, really cool. All right, let's see what the traveling cart's got today, and we'll say hi to Mr. Piggy as always. Hello, Mr. Piggy, how's it going? Okay, so what's the car got? So what's got, oh, it's got a sweet gem berry. No way, that's insane. Oh! <gasps> It's a piece of fruit! I don't believe it! Oh my gosh, it's selling fruit finally! Oh, that's amazing! Oh, a rare seed? Do I want a rare seed? Oh, I'll buy a rare seed, why not? I can't believe it. It's the first piece of fruit I've gotten in the whole game. This is insane! I think that's a summer fruit, actually. So, we might be able to finish off the artisan bundle sooner. So, I only need two more. And I've already got all the stuff for that. <gasps> Guys, we're going to get the greenhouse this season. This is amazing. I can't wait. Hey, what's going on here? Is it mail for happy? Let's see what the mail is today. Oh, it's from Lewis. Aaron, I'm glad to give you this. I'm going to give you this advice because I like you and I want you to stay in Pelican Town. If there comes a day that you want to ask for someone's hand in marriage, you'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. Don't worry, everyone in Pelican Town understands the significance of the amulet. It's an ancient tradition in this region. Good luck. <gasps> and no way, guess what? I just checked the weather and it's going to rain tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'll double check. Let's see, the weather. It's going to rain, which means that guy's going to turn up on the beach who sells the thingy. So we can get, oh, we're going to get married. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is exciting. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to do some basic farming today. And tomorrow, we can catch some of the fishies I need. Plus, get the amulet. Let's go. Uh, what's going on here? A new baby lizard hatched? Hang on a second. Choose a name for... Oh, is this for the dinosaur? Oh, what are we going to call it? I don't even know. Um, 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 well, it's, it's probably going to be a boy, so we'll call it Wolfgang the Dinosaur. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, where is it? Oh. There it is! Oh my gosh, look at it! Hello, hello, chicken. We'll say hello to our chickens. Whoa, I've always got full hearts. So, Wolfgang, seems a little curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. <gasps> so, I think dinosaurs lay eggs too, maybe? I don't know, but anyway, you can probably hear the rain. Um, and I'm just going to do the farm chores, and then I'm going to head to the beach. Oh, hey, what's going on? I think we got a Haley scene. That's so random. Well, I'll put a timestamp at the top as always, guys. Oh, I was not expecting this. Hey, Haley, why are you standing in the rain? Aaron, come here quick. Oh, she looks sad. What's wrong, Haley? My bracelet is gone. I know I had it on when I got here, but now it's gone and I can't find it anywhere. Do you, do you want a muscle instead? We can give you that. That would be kind of cool. We could take Elliot's boat. Um, I wonder, Aaron's probably going to find it. I'll never find another one like it. Relax, I'll just buy you a new one. I'm really sorry. Now, I, I've had a few things like that. They're like treasured possessions. So you can't just buy a new one. So I'm going to say I'm really sorry. Sigh. Maybe it'll wash up on another shore. I can't bear to think of it at the bottom of the ocean. I wonder if we can look for it or something. There's wormies, by the way. Oh, Aaron's like, there, there. Sorry, great grandma. I lost your precious bracelet. Please forgive me. Oh, Hayley. Could she have dropped it nearby? Oh, do we get to look around? Okay, I can't forage. I don't know, is it in the boat? Uh, is it in the worm? Oh, I can see it. There it is. No way. How did it get behind here? Okay, there we go. We we'll pick that up. We'll bring it back. We'll say hi to Wormies again. And then we'll go back to Haley. I still can't forage that. All right, Haley, is this what you wanted? Oh, it's gone all blue. Oh, hello. 
Is that... <gasps> Look at the shock on her face. She's like... <gasps> She's jumping. <laughs> you found it! Yay! Oh, cuddles. Okay. Thank you so much, Aaron. You're a lifesaver. Ooh. This isn't the type of romance I'm about to propose to someone else. I won't forget what you did for me here. Is she blushing? Ooh. <laughs> Hayley, no. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, goodness. Seagulls, get out of the way. Ooh. I'm like literally about to propose to someone. <gasps> An anchor? Oh wow, I found a new artifact. That's cool. So apparently this guy is... I think I saw him early in the venture and he told me to go away basically. So let's do some quick foraging first. Oh no, I don't really need to forage anymore because I'm max foraging. But anyway, let's have a chat to him. Old Mariner, uh, I can see it in your eyes. There be a special someone in your heart. Just so happens I'm selling a mermaid's pendant. Give me that... Give that to your intended and they'll know exactly what you mean. Uh, 5,000. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, I got it. It's like a seashell thing. Give this to the person you want to marry. Oh, what happens if I talk to him again? Don't be shy now. I'll show that amulet. <laughs> what if you gave it straight back to him? I love you, old mariner. I love you. Well, we need to go and find Abigail. I also need to catch some fish today too because it's raining. But we'll go propose first. Oh, there she is. There's Abigail. I should probably just talk to her first rather than throw this at her. Hi, I'm glad to see you. I should hope so. I want to take my mind off things for a while. How is your day going? Oh, I've got one way to take your mind off things. Abigail, will you do the pleasure of making me your wife? Is that what I did? I say it right? <gasps> She's like, oh, no way. I accept. <laughs> I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days again. Wow, that's fast. No way. He <laughs> he. Me? Married? I never thought this would happen. That's crazy. We're going to have a lot of fun together. <gasps> She's going to move into the farm, isn't she? Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, does, do they change what they say? I've seen... <laughs> so I just proposed to her daughter and she's like, I've seen wild horse riders in the forest! <laughs> so random. Let's see what Pierre says. So I've just proposed to your daughter. What are you going to say? Sometimes I get new items in stocks to make sure it's not buy stuck up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I have to catch fish. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's the wedding day! <laughs> it's a few days later and it just instantly starts. Oh my gosh, look at it! <gasps> when Aaron first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Aaron is going to be as much a part of this town as any of us. <gasps> and there's Abigail and oh, Aaron's got a suit on and his hat still. <gasps> it is my great honor on this day, on this day 12 of spring to unite Aaron and Abigail. Oh, we both start with A too. In the bonds of marriage. <gasps> And everyone's here, and there's flowers, and a butterfly, <laughs> and I'm looking into her eyes. Oh, Abigail! And she's like, oh, Aaron! Well, let's get right to it. Okay, let's get mowing. <laughs> oh, Aaron, Abigail, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Ah, oh, yeah, now he said it. Oh, go, Aaron. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, wow, there's like confetti stuff and Marnie's dancing. And Demetrius and Robin are having a little dance. Oh, this is cool. I'm married. Wow. Life is going to be different from now on. <gasps> but the future looks bright. Oh, yes, indeed it does. Oh, my goodness. So what happens now? Is it like a party after, or is it, oh, <laughs> it's a new day, and now I'm married, <laughs> and I have some mail too, let's check that out. Mayor Lewis is saying, oh, the egg festival's tomorrow, should arrive between 9 and 2, so I'm pretty sure my potatoes will be ready tomorrow, so I actually purchased uh, more seeds in advance, but I'm also probably going to buy strawberries, so I probably didn't need to, need to buy the, the potato seeds, but I'll save them for next year or whatever, but, um, so it has, oh, Abigail's in our house. What you doing, girl? Oh my gosh. Hey, the egg festival is tomorrow. I'm sorry, but I won't go easy on you because we're married. <gasps> I can talk to her whenever I want now. So she can just, she just hangs out here. I plan on winning that egg hunt. Go, go ahead and try and beat me. Oh, I love the friendly ribbing. So can I still give her a present? Oh, whoa, was that a kiss? Ooh, so you can have a little cuddle whenever you want. That is so sweet. Let's try and give her some more amethyst anyway. So does it go up? <gasps> It goes up to 12 now. I've got 11 out of 12. 
That's pretty cool. I think I heard that you can get... Oh, wow, it says wife now. So I don't think I'm supposed to date the other girls anymore. But, uh, yeah, I think you can get, like, a star drop if it gets high enough or something. So the weather report. What's the weather going to be? Oh, yeah, egg festival. It's always nice. And how are the spirits today? The spirits feel neutral. That's nice. Okay, there we go. So I'm married. The picture kind of looks like Abigail on the wall. And doesn't her room move in here? No way, the bear's in the wall. Okay, let's pick up the bear. We'll put bear over there. And uh, wow, check it out. So Abigail's, she's got a big sword thing. Woo! So her room's in here too. That is so cool. We'll have to upgrade the house again. Make room for bear bears. For bear 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 bears. <laughs> anyway, I've got some stuff to do. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, this is so cool just seeing Abigail hanging out around the farm. I love it. This is crazy. But uh, as you guys know, the egg festival is today. And as you can see, there's heaps of stuff that we need to harvest. So what I'll do is I'm going to pick up all the potatoes because I'll buy strawberries at the festival today, which will be pretty nice. And then when I get home later, I can quickly plant them before I go to bed. So I'll get everything ready. I'll see to the animals. And oh, look, our trees are almost ready as well. This is crazy. So I'll get everything ready and then let's head off to the festival. Quick, the egg festival is starting. Let's go, let's go. Woo! I'm interested to see if it's changed at all. Okay, here we go. New egg festival. Shane's hanging out. Our hens have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best tonight. Yes, I think he said that last time. But uh, I do want oh, a plush bunny. That looks awesome. I'm going to buy that. Oh. Now, I just need to get enough strawberry seeds to cover that area where all my sprinklers are. And I think that's roughly 200. But I'm going to buy maybe an extra 50 just to be safe yeah why not <laughs> a lawn flamingo yeah sure why not let's grab one of those and that's it i think i bought all the other stuff <laughs> so that's kind of cool so we're going to chat to a few people quickly and see if anything's different i put something nice in the punch okay let's talk to emily i've been up since dawn coloring eggs it's always my favorite part of the season yeah i think the events don't change too much year to year Taking breaks from work can make you more productive in the long run. All right, well, let's talk to our wife and see what she says. Go away. We're, ad <laughs> We're adversaries until the egg hunt is over. I love that. That is awesome. <laughs> we used to do a rotten egg toss. Mayor Lewis, yeah, and I remember that. So what we might do is we'll do the egg hunt again quickly. Maybe I should let Abigail win. This festival is all right, but what I really look forward to is the flower dance, yeah. I guess I would dance with uh, Abigail this time. So let's uh, let's get a quick photo in the, the bunny. Boop, 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 boop. And then let's talk to the mayor. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt? Yes. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I think if you win it the second time, you just get a little bit of money instead. And it's not like anything too crazy. I think it might be like 1,000 or 2,000 gold. The time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. <laughs> the kids are excited. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you find, hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Does Abigail get the hat if she wins? I wonder if we can both wear the same hat on the farm. I can't remember the pattern properly. Is everyone ready? I'm going to try and win. Okay. Go, go, go. Let the egg hunt begin. All right, beautiful. Okay, I think I ran around this way. Oh no, I've got to go through here. There's an egg there. Beautiful. Let's get the eggy. Nice. I've got my galaxy sword for some reason. All right, let's get this one. No, nope, I got caught on something. Is that an egg? No. Oh, this is not going good, guys. I forget. Abigail, get away from my egg. <laughs> Waifu, get away. Get away. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I cut around here. There's one near the sewer. Ooh. <laughs> okay, there's one around this tree. And then I think I went up around the cemetery. There's one. Okay, there's one there. No, I'll just go for this one. Quicker, quicker. No, don't look at the... No, I don't want to read it. Ah, there's one there. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm wasting so much time. Ooh. Okay, we go up here. There's one behind the bush. Oh, and there's one behind the mayor's house. Can I get to it? All right, I'm going to go for it. Oh, three seconds. I'm never going to make it. Egg, egg, come to happy. Come to happy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I got eight. I think, is that enough to win? I can't remember. Oh, Abigail's going to freak out if we win again. All right, let's see. Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up little. Oh, 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 oh dad joke. <laughs> oh, and now the winner of this year's egg hunt is drumroll. 
Is it Abigail one? Abigail! That's it. We're not talking. We're going to get back home. Here's your prize, Abigail. Enjoy. Did she get the hat? I don't know. I want us both to have the hat. <laughs> well, that's it for this year's Egg Festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. I wonder if she teases me because she won. Ooh, I hope we both get to wear the hat, though. That would be cool. Oh, I'm going to plant these strawberries quickly. Ooh. So, um, I picked all the uh, potatoes up, and now I can barely see. So, what I'll be doing, guys, I'm going to plant all these and then get to bed. Um, but anyway, we'll wrap that up there for today, guys. So, we managed to get married. Next episode, we'll be finishing off the community center. I am so close to actually finishing it off. And uh, we will also... Did I say community center? Oh, greenhouse as well. That's what I meant to say. So, greenhouse and the community center. And that's probably about it for our adventure. So, if there's any last minute requests, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll put some torches around so you can see. And uh, yeah, smash the like button if you're enjoying our Stardew Valley adventure. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And here's the most important part, as always, you'll stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See y'all.